You may remember that four weeks ago on the programme we were discussing the new amendment to the Copyright Act that's intended to clarify the law regarding the copying of software, and we invited letters on the subject. Many of our younger correspondents felt that just the price of game software led to the law being flouted. But young children who are caught copying software are risking more than they think. Not only would their parents be liable to pay any fines, but as barrister Emlyn Williams points out, the penalties now available against them seem to be excessive, for there can, and indeed will, be cases where copying in contravention of the new provision may ground an order putting a child into the care of a local authority. There were complaints too about some of the methods the companies use to protect their software. Firebird's Elite, for example, uses a system called LensLock. When you buy the game, you get this plastic lens. Every time you run it, the program generates a pair of random numbers that appear jumbled on the screen. The lens lets you read them, type them in, and then the game runs. But Gary Nicklin of Essex isn't impressed. Elite is probably the best game I've got at the moment for the Spectrum, but my enjoyment is totally spoiled by the fact that I have to pray for a lens lock number that is recognisable through the lens. Several times now I have been unable to recognise any of the codes, and this means loading in the whole game again, and it takes ages. Strong feelings were also aroused by the difficulty of transferring cassette-based software to disc. Dave Keane of London writes... There must be many, like myself, who simply refuse to buy software on tape if it is likely to be too well protected to be transferred onto disc. Why, oh why, do companies not make at least all their new software available on disc? A good point, Mr Keane, and thanks to all of those who wrote in.